And the ongoing migrant crisis has spread far beyond the southern border, impacting cities and states hundreds of miles away. That includes in Massachusetts, where a state law guaranteeing a right to shelter has led to more than 80 cities and towns taking in migrants over the past year. According to the New York Times, there were over 6,000 families living in shelters across Massachusetts last week, with the monthly cost for housing these individuals estimated at $45 million. News Nation national correspondent Robert Sherman is live for us. So, Robert, uh, there's now a push from one small town in Massachusetts and a mayor to reform the state's right to shelter law, we understand. Yeah, that's right. That would be the mayor of Woburn, Massachusetts, which is a town of about 40,000 people just outside of Boston. The mayor there says he has about 150 families staying at hotels in his community, which he says in the long run is going to be unsustainable. And now you've surely heard this story before. I mean, we've been talking about this a lot over the last year with migrants being bused from city to city. But here's the difference with Massachusetts, though. They are the only state in the country which has this law in effect, which is colloquially called a right to shelter law. It's put on the books in 1983, and it says that families that are seeking shelter within the Commonwealth of Massachusetts have a right to shelter from their Massachusetts officials. So Massachusetts officials have to give them some kind of shelter. But that same law is being used in this case, and you've heard from the mayor of Woburn who says that the law shouldn't really be applying here. It was designed under a different spirit in 1983, and it's not working present day today. But it's not just Woburn, Massachusetts, as we've been talking about extensively here on News Nation. You look at cities across the country, thousands upon thousands of migrants have been bused to places such as D.C., Philadelphia, New York City, Chicago, according to Texas Governor Greg Abbott. And a council person for the city of New York told our own Morning in America crew this morning this. Take a listen. It's reached a proportion where it's impossible to keep track of. And now we're talking about cut, uh, cutting our budget. Are you kidding me? To our, our police? You know, we're looking at 5% in November. We're looking at 5% in January. And we are looking at uh, as much as five, another 5% come early spring. That's 15%. 15% to a police department that's already suffering and cannot do their jobs. You hear that from a council person in New York. The mayor of New York, Eric Adams, says that this is one of those political issues where he does not see an end in sight. He's calling on the federal government to do more. Kelly? Yeah, understood. All right, Robert Sherman, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.